Hello and welcome back to another Lalika video, where this time I'm discussing uh, Match Day 24, <coughs> the games that were played, and yeah, they were played between uh, weekend and uh, Monday, uh, Osasuna Celta Vigo played on Monday. The first game, uh, first of four nil-nil games, uh, was between Real Sociedad and Cadiz. Um, Cadiz uh, probably very happy with this result. Uh, I'm not sure if they were out of the relegation zone, but at least now uh, now they are, but there is a little point difference there uh, between the relegation sides and uh, teams close to relegation zone. Uh, but yeah, Real Sociedad, they had chances, but I think Cadiz played a solid defensive game, and yeah, um, I'm not sure if they deserved a point, but yeah, uh, Sociedad will be disappointed about this result definitely, and uh, I'm not sure about their chances of uh, winning the title, but uh, their hopes will be about getting into top four uh, after the season has gone, so uh, they would get to UEFA Champions League next season. But uh, yeah, there are some teams that would definitely like to jump ahead of them, uh, like Real Betis and uh, Villarreal. And yeah, Sociedad, uh, they will have to do better uh, next match day at uh, 25 um, this wasn't good enough and uh, uh, they are probably very disappointed with this result then uh, where the goals happened other than that uh, Atletico Madrid game uh, Getafe faced Girona uh, Girona uh, two goals were scored by Castellanos and Gutierrez uh, but Getafe uh, or Getafe bit surprisingly actually won that game uh, surprising in that uh, Hirona they had scored nine goals in last two games coming into this I believe uh, if I'm not mistaken but yeah uh, Hetafe actually let the game three nothing going into half time so uh, Enes Unal at Turkish striker <coughs> he scored two uh, latter of them from penalty spot and the winning goal uh, was scored by Borja Mayoral so yeah uh, Hetafe will be very happy out about this result and I believe uh, they also jumped uh, past the well uh, some teams and out of the relegation zone uh, because of this uh, result and Hirona even though they are I believe 11th or uh, 11th or 12th uh, they still have to be uh, wary about their position because uh, there's not that big of a point difference there uh, between them and the relegation sides. Then uh, Villarreal continuing their, I mean, should I say strong form, uh, this was only their second win in a row after uh, losing many games. Uh, Gerard, uh, Gerard Moreno uh, scored uh, their first goal and uh, second goal was scored by uh, Morales. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, Villarreal uh, with another win uh, against Almeria. Uh, Almeria, interestingly, uh, they won Barcelona uh, last match day, but other than that, they have lost uh, this game and uh, the games before Barcelona game. So they were clearly motivated against Barcelona. So <coughs> yeah, interesting result definitely uh, in that Almeria. Well, maybe they were too confident coming into this. Uh, they beat uh, Barcelona last week and then now they lose to Villarreal and Villarreal. Uh, they are not that far away of top four a uh, place. They are now sixth, I believe, in the standings. <coughs> then Elche, they played against uh, Mallorca. The only goal was scored uh, late, so could have been potentially five nil nil games. But uh, Lucas Boye, uh, 88 minute strike, uh, managed to make the game uh, one nothing away win for Elche. And Elche will definitely be happy about this. Uh, they, well, they have had a rough season and their chances of getting out of the relegation zone are slim, but this win definitely will at least help to uh, maybe think about getting out of there, but it's not going to be easy. They have to win a lot of games between now and the end of the season. And then uh, Atletico Madrid faced Sevilla. Uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, the goal scorers were Memphis Depay, uh, I believe those were his uh, second and third goal uh, with Atletico Madrid in La Liga. 
And uh, yeah, Depay proving to be a great signing for Atletico Madrid at this point at least. And I, I'm not surprised he played for, well for Barcelona and was a bit surprised uh, when they sold him. Uh, well, I'm not sure how much they got him, but that was very little uh, from the uh, quality player that Depay is. Uh, Depay is. Uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, maybe it would have been 2 nothing, but it ended up being 2-1 at half time because Yusuf Nesiri, a uh, Moroccan striker, scored uh, to make the game 2-1. Uh, and yeah, I thought maybe Sevilla could challenge uh, Atletico Madrid, who have had uh, strong recent performances. Uh, but then Antoine Griezmann scored, uh, Yannick Carrasco scored, and then Alvaro Morata uh, scored twice. Uh, so... Yeah, it was 6-1 and an uh, ugly result if you're a Sevilla fan uh, or Sevilla as a team. And uh, Atletico, they will be very happy out about this result. And yeah, um, I really have nothing else to say. I'm just uh, stunned that Atletico were that efficient. Uh, they usually don't score that many goals uh, against La Liga sides, but now they did. And uh, maybe this could be a sign of uh, uh, them going into some kind of scoring streak and scoring uh, many goals in games. Then Valladolid and Espanyol. Uh, Braithwaite's goal for Espanyol. Uh, Braithwaite has been quite on quite a heater uh, lately. Uh, he scored 87th minutes, but uh, that wasn't enough uh, because Sanchez and Aguado had already scored for Valladolid, so uh, Braithwaite's goal managed to make the game only uh, 2-1. And Valladolid, uh, big points, they are now out of the relegation zone uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, many teams jumped, uh, well, uh, jumped off the relegation zone uh, places and uh, some teams uh, dropped into there. And, yeah, uh, Valladolid, definitely happy about this win. Espanyol would have wanted at least a point out of this one, I, I would think, uh, considering how uh, tight it is at the bottom of the table, uh, so yeah. Uh, Barcelona, they won one nothing against Valencia. Uh, only goal scorer was Rafinha with a header, uh, beautiful header by him. Uh, Araujo also got red card, so that uh, didn't make Barcelona fans happy. I thought, yeah, it was probably deserved. Uh, he was the last man there and, uh, yeah, um, stopped the attack, uh, the, yeah. And uh, I would think Barcelona, even though they won only one nothing, they were without Lewandowski and others. Uh, they probably will take this. Uh, Valencia, on the other hand, uh, they may think that they missed an opportunity because Barcelona, they didn't have their strongest game, definitely. And it was only one goal game, so Valencia could have done something here, but uh, they didn't manage to do anything. Uh, well, at least not get the uh, point or three. Then uh, three nil-nil games in a row. I'm not sure when this has last happened, but uh, yeah, match day 24, three nil-nil games in a row. Uh, Rayo Vallecano, Athletic Bilbao faced each other, and that was nil-nil, as I said. Uh, I would think probably both teams will take a point. Bilbao uh, having a rougher time uh, recently. Uh, Vallecano, uh, they now drop to seventh uh, because... Well, uh, Villarreal uh, went past them. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would think both teams will take a point, but uh, would probably both teams would have won the three there. Uh, then, uh, probably uh, one of the most awaited matches out of all this was between Real Betis and Real Madrid. Uh, there weren't any goals, so uh, yeah. And I believe I said in the preview that I recommend this match. I'm not sure. Uh, if that was a good recommendation since uh, it ended up being goalless. Uh, Real Madrid now 9 points behind Barcelona. Um, they would have probably wanted to win this match, but Real Betis, especially at Estadio Benito Villamarín, uh, they are a rough opponent to play against. So, yeah, uh, I would think uh, and su suggest uh, that Real Madrid will be uh, not happy, but take will take the one point, definitely. And the last game on Monday, Osasuna Celta Vigo, that was on also uh, nil-nil. Uh, Osasuna, uh, they have had 
some rough per- performances lately. Uh, they got win recently, but uh, well, uh, if that's not taken into account, uh, they have not got great results. Uh, Celta Vigo, uh, yeah, they are on the bottom uh, half of the table, but uh, both teams probably, as I said, with Rayo Vallecano and uh, Bilbao or Athletic Club, uh, the same, I think, will go, or uh, both teams will think about the same here, that uh, one point is good enough, uh, but yeah. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this match day 24 games in the comments down below, uh, were there any surprises for you, and uh, yeah, what did you think about uh, all these games that were played, and hit the like and subscribe for more football and La Liga content, and have a nice day.